Hello everyone, my name is Eva Radani and I work as application support for Creta, an AVL tool for parameter and calibration dataset management. In this video, I would like to give you a glimpse on how to work with Creta by showing you a common workflow. First, let me present you the users of Creta and their responsibilities. In Creta, there are three main roles defined. The administrator, the calibration or project pilot, and the calibration or project engineer. The number of users increases in this order. However, their responsibilities and rights in Creta are inversely proportional to their count. Additionally to these three main roles, once a Creta project is created, the administrator can invite guests who will only have viewing rights. So let's see the typical responsibilities of each role by going through a simple workflow. Firstly, the administrator must create a Creta calibration project and to add users to it. The administrator will define the editing and viewing permissions of the users. Important to mention that only the edit users can see the project. So let's see how this looks like in Creta. I start Creta as an administrator and the Creta interface appears. On the top of the Creta window, there is the Creta ribbon with the most important functionalities. A good hint is to navigate to the workflow tab as it gives you good guidance on the coming steps, which can be read from left to right. The workflow ribbon will be different depending on which user opens Creta. Self-evidently, a calibration engineer will see less of these functionalities on the ribbon. On the left side of the window, there is the Creta Explorer, which provides you the overview of the different projects, imported parameter sets, and so on. Creating a new project can be done via navigating to the Creta Explorer and opening the context menu with a right click or by using the button under the Workflow tab. This is true for most of the Creta functionalities that they can be accessed from the context menu of the Creta Explorer as well. Once the project is created, it can be renamed in the navigation panel. I will be working on a project for electric cars. Then the users must be added to the project who will be able to see it. Again, it can be done under the Workflow tab by clicking on the Project Groups button. First, let's add the Calibration or Project Engineers by highlighting the Project Engineers Employee group and clicking on the Add Employee button. I select the engineers I would like to add to the project, then I click on the right pointing arrow. I will repeat these steps for the project pilot. I close the window by clicking on the OK button and now the pilot and engineers can finally start working on the project. After the project had been created, the pilot can make the variant structure of the project and can assign attributes to the variants. Having attributes assigned to the variants have various benefits for the future use of Creta, including simplified dataset delivery and easier filtering for variants in the Creta tree. This is to be discussed in future videos. In the next step, the pilot imports the software to the project with the different labels, then assigns the responsible engineer to each label and eventually imports the revision to Creta. Now I log in like I was the project pilot. I will navigate to the workflow tab and as you can see a pilot is not able to create a new project. As I previously mentioned, the Workflow tab gives you a good guidance on the next steps. In this example, the administrator had already added project engineers, 
so I can proceed to create the variant structure by clicking on the Edit Variants button and a dialog appears. Now I can create the variant structure manually with the help of Add Variant and Add Child Variant buttons. Variant structure can be also created by navigating to the Import button under the File tab. I will do the structure this way. Once the variant structure is imported, you have to watch out to which folder you want to import revisions and calibrations later and take care that those you have checked. As you can see, I create the platform-based electrification structure with typical electric vehicle variants defined by their range, their dry mechanism and so on. I click OK and the variant structure is now visible in the Creta Explorer. Then I navigate to the workflow ribbon and I proceed with the software or parameter import. After I had clicked on the parameter import button, the dialog will pop up. In the window, I will browse the A2L file I want to import and when I found it, I can press the start button. If I find everything alright, I can click on the OK button. The next step is to assign the label responsibilities. I navigate to the label responsibilities button and I open the label overview dialog. I can simply select the labels I want to assign then I select the responsible person on the right side of the dialog and eventually I click on the Owner button in the middle. Deputies can be also assigned the same way to each label. Also, there is the option to import the responsible for each label. Once I'm done, I close the window by clicking OK. Next step is to import the parameter values or revision by clicking on the Import Values button. Once the hex file to be imported is selected, I continue with the next button. We have only one software imported, so I can proceed by leaving the selection as default. In the Variant Selection window, you either select the variants to which you would like to import the revision, or you also have the option to select sub-items. The revision will be imported to those variants where the import was enabled by creating the variant structure. I select all sub-items, then I press Next. The decision is fully up to you, but while importing the revision, you might want to change the label score of all labels within the revision to show, for example, they were imported at least once. Now we can start the revision import and when, it finished, when it's finished, I click OK. Let's go on with the calibration engineers. When the revision is imported, the calibration engineers can import their calibration results to the revision. Now I log in as engineer 1. After logging in, one can observe that there is no workflow ribbon anymore as an engineer does not have as many rights as the admin or pilot. I will import the calibration file to the desired revision. I can do it by the button in the ribbon or by opening the context menu within the Creta Explorer. I select the calibration I want to import and move it to the desired revision by pushing the right arrow. Then I click OK Next. Here, there is the option again to choose a score for the calibration to reflect how advanced it is. If everything is alright, we can start the import. But we got some warning messages. Let's see. After the calibration import has been completed, an overview of the imported calibration pops up. It is important to take a look at the system status of each label. In the next video, we will discuss in more details their meaning. Only those labels which are ticked below Save 
will be merged to the new revision. Now I close this window by clicking OK. When the calibration engineers have imported their results, the calibration pilot reviews and merges them to a new revision. Now I log in as a pilot again. I can see the imported calibration file in the navigation panel. I will merge this to the revision by clicking on the Merge Revision button in the ribbon. Here you have the option to log the revision and the calibration file after the merge. Then I proceed with the next button and start the merge if I find everything alright. Some labels are not merged as their system status was not appropriate. Once the merge is completed, you can see the original revision is logged and the new revision containing the imported calibration data. This was a simplified overview of Greta, which did not cover all functionalities. In case you would like to be up to date, we recommend you to watch our future videos. Thank you very much for your attention. We hope you like this video. Goodbye.